I'm more of the artistic type. This always scares me, even though I know it's coming. Now, where do I press? <gasps> How do you do it? It's on already, I think. No. <laughs> it's recording. So if you put your eye up there, it's gonna close the screen off. Yeah, you can just fine. leave it. Okay. Don't get my head in it. Just Why not? down here. It's not like very. It's not picking up the focus because of what I did. I see. It's like a sepia. Tone. Wait, what is? Oh, that's the icing. Oh my god. It's sepia because the lighting in here is yellow. That's why I always tell you to turn the light off in the daylight. Is that worse? No. Okay. Well, this is prime time. Wait, there's only five. There must be another one. No. No, 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 no. Oh, there's. Put put one here. Wait, there's no way there's only five in here. Yeah. No, there were six last time we made them. Are you sure? I'm positive. Look at your fi pictures. I know for a fact that there were six. Look at your pictures. I did. We each had two. No, we didn't. Oh, no. There was one left over. Remember, we split it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't split it. You actually had it. Yes, because I love them. I love <laughs> Because I like them more than you do. No. That's blasphemous. Good morning guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I figured since I'm always starting them in our living room that I would start it while we're on the Upper East Side today. We have um, Anastasia and Hathel who are shooting right now. We tried to go to Bellamy, which is right behind me, but they're only taking cash today. And I usually carry some with me, but I don't have any today. So I didn't get a coffee. And it's about 28 degrees if you guys can see my breath. And we just did one outfit. I have a second one on. This is like a Jenny Kane sweater, my Avec Lafitte coat. I think I just have black trousers and Converse. I'm saying I think as if I didn't just put this outfit on. Um, but today is, what's today? Tuesday. And we're going into the office. But I have some things coming later today that I want to share with you guys. And Polly's going home for guitar lessons. So I will have like the apartment to like film and show you guys stuff without being a, a bother. So welcome back to the vlog, you guys. Make sure you're subscribed. You probably couldn't hear me over that bus, but make sure you're subscribed. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, and I'm sure you can hear in my voice that I'm still very stuffy. I think this is probably the first time I've been like actually sick on camera on my channel. And I jinxed myself last week. I was telling like three different people because I told you guys that I took a like mental health slash like half day sick day on Thursday of last week because I had a doctor's appointment and the workout class. And I was like, yeah, I can take these mental health days because I never get sick. And this week I had like a little bit of a tiny scratchy throat and I thought it was because of the dry air in our room. But it ended up that I was coming on with a cold. So it's just a cold. I literally just have like sinus pressure. And that's basically it. I don't have a cough or anything, which is kind of crazy because it's, what month is it? It's January. So it feels like allergies, but why would I be getting allergies in the middle of winter? But anyway, I figured I would still just vlog for today because I never really have time to chat with you guys in the mornings before work because I am still gonna go into the office. I feel completely fine besides the fact that my nose is stuffy. So, you know, I'm gonna go into the office so that I could still have those mental health days if there are days where like I have a bunch of events that I wanna go to and just like take a breather from the hectic, you know, work life. And if I just have a stuffy nose, I'm not gonna stay home. But I did take some Panadol this morning. This is like, 
European Advil, I guess. Um, but any of my European followers can correct me if that's wrong, but all of my family members, every time I go on a work trip, they're like, please get boxes of Panadol because this stuff works insanely well and I don't think you can get it in the US. And so I took some of that. I also took my vitamin D um, supplement. And then I also took these, which I'm almost done with. I think I only have one serving left, but these are the Beauty Pie Super Gut and they're basically just a probiotic. I think I still have some of these in my little um, like metal box that I take when I travel. Um, and then we're gonna take my JS Health Vitamins because apparently, even if I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, the only thing that I will not compromise on is taking my vitamins because last night I came home and made myself dinner. I didn't even clean the dishes. I fell asleep on the couch. What else did I do? Oh, I managed to paint my nails for some reason. <laughs> I think it was because I took a shower and I got like a second lease of life or like energy and ended up just putting regular nail polish on, which was great. Left all that stuff out, which I put it away this morning. But yeah, I came home and just kind of was a vegetable a little bit. Oops. By the way, you guys, this water bottle from the We Were What class is amazing. I don't know if they sell this on their website, but if they do, I'll link it because it's huge, but also kind of cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're doing a get ready with me. Something else that I just wanted to show you guys was, I mean, I didn't just come straight home after work yesterday. First of all, I was gonna leave early, but I ended up staying the full time. Um, and then on my way back, we picked up a little something for my sister who's getting married. So this is going to be her bridal shower gift. So I have a tiny little bag here from the Dior store. And I actually freaked out when I saw this bag because I was like, there's actually Nothing cuter than Dior packaging, and there's also nothing cuter with it being like this tiny little size. So I will put a picture of what is in there on the screen here because I don't want to take it out of the little box. Well, actually, I need to show you guys the box because the box is even better, but I'll just put a picture up here so that you guys can see what we got her. But basically, they are to wear for her like rehearsal dinner with her outfit. We thought that they would go really well, but then also, she can wear them whatever because they're pretty like classic and um, yeah, so we got her those and it's a complete surprise. She has no idea. She hasn't asked for them. So yeah, I can't wait to see her reaction. I think she's really going to like them for her rehearsal dinner outfit. But yeah, that was all the excitement yesterday because I literally came home and just chilled. So I put on um, the rose ink moisturizer. This stuff is kind of like... I don't know how to explain it. It's not as heavy as the Caudalie, but it still gives that hydration. Like the last few nights, I started using this probably on, what's today, on Sunday night. And I don't have dryness around like this area of my mouth it usually gets dry in the winter. And I don't have any dryness there, which is fantastic. So I've been using that to put under my makeup in the morning, just cause like my nose and everything is so dry. And then, okay, this concealer. And then I also use it at night as like my regular nighttime moisturizer. But um, we have a couple of product changes in the lineup. And I told you guys about this Hourglass Concealer. Part of it, I'm gonna say the brand is amazing for creating a product like this. But then also part of me is like, I did a really good job with the color match, <laughs> which wasn't that hard. I literally swiped my old concealer. That was a really great match for my skin. And I put like the hourglass ones right next to it. So it's not like it was rocket science, but it was a very, very good fit. Um, normally before I blend out my concealer, I put on my eyebrows and my blush so that I can blend it into it. But I forgot. So, but just to let you guys know, that is my normal procedure. Just to let the concealer set a little bit and to like dry a little bit so that it's a little thicker. But you guys can see that this like still gave me full coverage, which is amazing. And then my brows are Glossier. This is the boy brow in the shade brown, which I just love that it's a little tiny tint of color, but it's nothing crazy. I like a full brow, but nothing that's like, whoa, you know? Cause I used to do my eyebrows like that. So the reason why I don't really mind that I didn't do my blush first is because I'm just gonna use this pixie stick. It's super quick. And I still have to like make breakfast and stuff before I leave. The Pixie Stick is 
I mean, I just put it on. Like, sometimes my blush looks like this when I'm done. <laughs> but it's not super, super pigmented. But that's not a bad thing. It just means that you can literally do this in 10 seconds. And it's blended. So we're going to leave it at that. And then I'm just going to put powder on. I use the Ilia one. Um, this has also been a game changer in my makeup routine. I've been using this for the past, like, two months. And Vanessa actually suggested this one and said that it was amazing so definitely gonna keep buying this not that i like finish powder quickly it usually takes me like a year to finish any of my makeup honestly besides i would say like mascara but i do make this last pretty long okay so i figured this would be a good opportunity for me to try the monsieur big by lancome i've heard about this mascara for like years and my lash paradise is getting a little bit clay like because it's pretty dry so let's give this a go I'm not very trusting when it comes to new mascaras because mine is just my favorite of all time. Um, and usually when you start a new one, the formula is very, very like, I guess for lack of a better word, like it's very wet, it's very like gel-like. And so it usually like splits my lashes apart and I don't really like that look. I like them to be like full and also like long, you know? So first impression, the bristles on this are a little bit longer than my Lash Paradise, so maybe that helps to grab the lashes more, but I'm definitely seeing length. I feel like the fullness comes when the formula is a little bit more dry, because it kind of like clings on a little bit easier instead of combing all the way through. This always happens to me with new mascaras too, I get it all over my eyelid. Okay, not bad. Um, definitely not as thick as my last paradise, but we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go clean this off. Okay, my heart just dropped because my tripod almost fell over. Sorry, I forgot to shut the bathroom door. But this is the final makeup look. If I wasn't talking, this would take me five minutes. But I just do like a very simple daily makeup look. And honestly, since I've had my brow gel back, it's been... I don't know I feel like I look way more awake when my brows are done for some reason even though that has nothing to do with like my eyes or my skin which is usually kind of like the parts of your face that make you look awake but we're ready I'm gonna make some breakfast quickly and then pick out an outfit um, but we have some fun things coming up this weekend I have my sister's bridal shower which that's the gift for her bridal shower on Saturday and then I'm going home tomorrow night so going home Thursday night Friday I have the day off I have another doctor's appointment in the morning and then I am running errands all day to put stuff together for the shower on Saturday. And then after the shower on Saturday, I have a wedding in New York, which is probably like 45 minutes north of where I live in New Jersey. And yeah, so we're gonna have a fun-filled day, lots of socializing. So I definitely need to get my rest over the next couple of nights so that I can be like fine because, you know, I don't wanna have like a stuffy nose when I'm like talking to people. I feel like that's just not the move. So. We're gonna drink lots of tea. I have my Panadol, my vitamins, everything in between that. And I'm also like chugging water and this water bottle has been like super helpful with that. So I'm gonna make a rice cake with peanut butter and bananas. I haven't had that in so long. Also, I mentioned to you guys, I think yesterday that um, I was getting a bunch of packages in and I was so excited. I like ran home with the lack of energy that I had. I ran home and I only picked up one He's like, yeah, you have one. I was like, I'm supposed to have seven. So that was a little bit disappointing, but I think everything's supposed to come like today and tomorrow. I think I just misunderstood the tracking numbers. So yeah, I'll probably either have stuff to show you today or tomorrow, but I'm gonna finish getting ready and then head up to the office. And I kind of want a birch coffee because yesterday Bellamy was only taking cash, so I didn't get a coffee. And I'm like, I haven't bought a coffee this week. We've only been drinking free coffees, so. I think that means we can buy one. So I'm all dressed and ready now. It's been a while since I filmed in this mirror and the reason is because there's a lot of things that I'm selling on Poshmark that is in a huge like heaping pile over here 
and it's really hard to look at. So I'm gonna try to not show you that stuff in addition to some things behind me. But I put on this white t-shirt from Zara. I have three of these on the way because the armpit on this t-shirt is starting to get a little bit discolored from deodorant and this is like not see-through. I'm wearing a Skims bra underneath and they're not see-through. They're also kind of fitted which I like with like an oversized blazer and stuff. I like for my t-shirts to be a little bit tighter with especially like jackets like this where I don't want to have my Uniqlo one on because the sleeve on that is a little longer. Um, but I like the Uniqlo one for wearing like on its own with a pair of pants. Um, just because it's a little bit, like the silhouette's a little bit more intentional, I would say. This is more of like a basic ribbed tee. So I will link this for you guys. I think it's part of their like classic collection that they always have. And then my jacket is from YSL. I got this from a sample sale. And it just has like gold detail buttons going down the front. But these are everywhere. Abercrombie has one, I know, so I can link that one for you. And yeah, just a really good staple. I'd wear this with all black. I'd wear it with denim on the bottom. But today I'm wearing it with these olive green trousers from Me and M. So I liked the color combination of like the black and olive. I wish I had this t-shirt in black and I don't know if it comes in black, but maybe I should have grabbed that. Um, because I think like just keeping it simple with two colors would have been nice as well. Um, but this is what we're going with today. And then I just have my mini YSL belt on, which I kind of like with this like thick waistband here that I have a more dainty belt to kind of draw everything in. Um, jewelry I haven't picked yet, but I'm going to put a pair of earrings in, and then my watch is my coach one that kind of looks like a dupe of the Cartier. So, this is the work outfit. I'm going to head off to the office, and hopefully I don't stop for a coffee on the way because I just don't ever need to be spending money on coffees out, especially when my office has coffee. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm sitting in a car with sopping wet hair and a bunch of coffees surrounding me, so that part is dreamy, but it's been a few days since I spoke to the vlog. I basically just came home on Thursday night and then I had the day off yesterday. I had a doctor's appointment. I went to get my camera fixed, so I have a brand new lens on there and it was super affordable, which I was so happy about because I thought I was going to incur a huge bill and it was something that I definitely needed to get done. And then I ran a couple of errands for my sister's shower, which is actually this morning. So we're doing like a brunch kind of shower for her and we did everything last night or like kind of put the finishing touches on everything last night and we were up pretty late so I grabbed everyone coffees this morning. I also had to run and get bobby pins because I have a wedding later today too. So we have Chloe's shower that ends at like 3 and then I'm get getting picked up by some of our friends at 4 and by friends I mean like they're friends of my boyfriend's parents because we're going to like their family friend's wedding. And they're already up there because they did the welcome party, but we were going to have a lot of stuff to do the night before, so I couldn't go to the welcome party. Um, but it's only about 40 minutes away from my house. I need to go and get ready now because it's almost 9. It's like, yeah, it's 9 exactly. And we're planning on leaving here at 10. So I have to be like basically ready for the wedding because we're probably going to be at the shower until like 3-ish. And then I have to come back here and I have like probably a half an hour to get like the rest of the finishing touches done. So that's why I went and ran and got some bobby pins and like little rubber bands for the hairstyle that I want to do. Hopefully my sister can help me with that. And then my makeup, I think I'm just going to like do it right now and then touch up little things here and there if I need to. So there's a lot of chaos that's about to happen. So I'm going to film as much as I can. I'll obviously get clips from the bridal shower with everything set up and I'm going to be taking pictures of everyone while we're there too. So yeah, it's going to be a very fun day, but I'm going to need like nine of these. <laughs> her so this is just yet another event that we get to do that so everybody enjoy your time with each other mingle mix and match with everybody and get to know one another so we can see you on the dance floor on the day of yes okay thank you
Good morning, you guys. Happy, what's today? Monday. I'm still in the suburbs. As you guys can tell, this is not the apartment. And I just made myself a really crappy shot of decaf espresso with some half and half, because that's the only milk that we have here. My dad has a Nespresso, the same machine that we have, but his um, pods are out. So I need to let my mom know that so that we can order him some more, because we got that for him for Christmas. And he's already drank through them, which is amazing because we wanted to get him that for a reason and we knew who would use it. But that means that I'm having a decaf espresso with half and half iced, of course. That's actually not that bad. I did put a little bit too much creamer in it though. Um, but I, this vlog, you guys, let's just address the fact that I started the vlog and there were straight like three minutes of footage without me even speaking to you guys. It was like, I don't even remember what we started out with. Making a coffee, making cinnamon rolls, just like a bunch of random stuff. And then in the middle of the vlog, there were a couple of clips from Avery and I going to Olenstein, which was like that Scandinavian looking coffee shop with all of the different pastries. And it was right after I said I was gonna get a coffee before work. So like, yeah, that wasn't the coffee that I got before work. I actually ended up not buying a coffee that day and I went to work and had a free one. Um, so the only coffee I bought last week was from Olenstein, which was great, and it wasn't too expensive, and we loved that, like, very Scandinavian atmosphere. Um, so just a little explanation on that. And then we had my sister shower, so that was amazing. It was so fun. It was a perfect amount of time. It was, like, the decorations and everything just came together really nicely, which was so fun because we actually, my sister and I really enjoyed, like, kind of planning this whole thing. It was a little bit stressful and because we don't like live together, we would have to like call each other up and say like, okay, did you get this and whatever. And we kind of had to keep track that way, which is normal for most people. Like when you're in your late twenties, you don't live together. So when you're planning something, it was just like, you know, it was me, my sister and my mom, like all trying to coordinate, but it turned out really well. And I cannot wait for my sister's wedding, which is in 27 days. It's just crazy that, that I went to her last fitting, which was a month ago. And then we just went to the, the last fitting on Friday. So I'm like, that time period was a month and her wedding's in that same amount of time period and it flew by. So I'm like, this is gonna be the best ever. And after going to a wedding on Saturday, that was lovely. I cried at the ceremony like a little baby. I used to never cry when I was little. Like I was a cold hearted, you know what? And then all of a sudden like something triggered in me once I was like, I think I was like 20, 425 and like everything makes me cry like happy cry sad cry like everything makes me cry um, But it's mostly like happy crying like sometimes I'll just be in church and I just feel like so Like grateful and blessed and I just like will literally tear up and it's kind of I don't know This is like a new me, but I've been like this for a few years So I'm kind of used to it. But yeah, I was like crying at the wedding I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna keep it together at my sister's wedding but all of that to come, which I'm so excited for. And I'm sorry for not taking clips of the wedding, but I'll insert a couple of photos and videos that I took because I loved her like winter decor. I think it was done so well and it's so Amanda, like she is the best. And she's actually the illustrator of the print, the Il Molino print that's in our kitchen. So I'm gonna link, or I'll leave her handle here. She does like custom drawings. So I got one for my friend Megan, her engagement with um, her now fiance we got a drawing of their first date spot and they're like minimal and like super cute and it's just a really nice like personal gift to give. So I'll link her thing. I think it's called Noon, Now New York. And, but I'll just put her handle here. Anyway, one more thing before I sign off this vlog. This is like the longest outro ever, but I, you know, deserve it because of how choppy this was. But my Uggs are here. I don't know where the other pair are. I'll just let you know. But this is the goat color in the mini size and I actually really love these. They're like a grayish beige and the soles beige. This is a grayish beige. So I feel like they are going to match with a lot in my wardrobe. I've already worn them once. The girl that had them before me, like I don't know what I do or like why I do this, but I'll go on Poshmark and like lowball people, like not as a joke, but like I'll be like, there's no way they're gonna accept that offer. And then they just end up accepting it. So I accidentally bought two pairs of bugs. For those of you who have not heard this story, but the other ones, I accidentally needed to reroute the pa or I needed to reroute the package because I accidentally sent them to my old apartment. 
and those aren't here so I need to actually investigate that today but I love these I can't wait to wear them I think they're gonna look really cute with like other neutrals and stuff in my wardrobe and they're just like cozy but you guys know that I have a phobia of styling these for like real life and not just for cozy wear so we'll see if I can do that so my battery's flashing thank you guys for watching this video I love you all and I hope to see you in my next one and don't forget to subscribe